Okay, folks, we're back, and this time I'm going to show you how to bring these kind of simple primitives in, okay? And I'm going to press delete, as I see here, boom, and you select, you basically use the translate tools to select. Sometimes you can delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring these objects in. When I first used this application, I got confused between volumes, which is entirely a different matter altogether. For example, there's a volume of water, cube, cylinder, and so on. So as you can see here, volume, the icon is 3D, okay? There, cube, cylinder. However, what I want to do is bring simple constructs like this. So here you go, furniture, primitives. The icon is 2D, not 3D. That's 3D, okay? Furniture, boom. And here, box. Look at that, okay? So uh, just, just so you know, this is a point uh, that will confuse most of us, including students and teachers, all right? So I'm going to press escape for a second. I'm just going to zoom out. And we're going to have fun at this point, all right? So here's a cube, and watch how much fun this is, okay? So you can bring something in, and it's hovering, hovering. Just like in 3DS Max, there's a button that we place, and then basically this is becoming the surface that it's creating on. Right now the surface is the ground, but if I select, uh, if I hover over another object, it's trying to create itself, okay, on that surface. Isn't that interesting? I find that really, really fascinating. Okay, and you can really make this really a beautiful area to play around with. You can imagine being a character going through here and then seeing this kind of surface, all these beautiful spots, uh, lighting, shadow, and so on, lit, dark, and so on. Okay, so we're making beautiful shapes. So I would encourage you to uh, explore here. Personally, I'm using, uh, let's say, a sphere here, right here. Okay, that's nice. Okay, it's a basic primitive, as you can see and a pyramid and i'm going to bring this and it's super tiny so i'll just come back over here <laughs> you're not going to see it so i'm just going to press escape that way i'll stop creating it but for now i'm just going to press uh right here i'm going to press the arrow here scale as you know you can always um, pick an axis and so on and then it'll go that way and i can go up here in the z and make my own pyramid per se okay so that kind of thing all right have fun bringing these objects in and create these really cool environments for yourself. It's a sculpture garden at this point, the way I'm seeing it. A lot of fun, okay? And here's one more, the Taurus, I love this. You like your donut? Here's your donut, Taurus. Okay, again, you can play with uh, the scale tool, move tool, rotate, and so on, and so on, okay? This will be fun right here, and then I'm just gonna go back to move, and I'm just gonna bring it down to the ground maybe. Okay, as you guys know, I can always select the number four, okay? Spin around, have fun creating these objects. Again, a point of clarification, these primitives are found inside. Right here, as you can see, you have to go into the library, furniture, and then primitives, okay? So not here, volumes, go to furniture, not home, right here, primitives, okay? We'll have fun with this. Hope you enjoy this one, and have fun experimenting. Bye-bye.